I'm Chris Garabedian. I'm the president and CEO of Sarepta Therapeutics. We're an RNA technology company with a lead program in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The types of work that we've utilized the Keck graduate students through the TMP projects has been largely to help us understand how to prioritize the application of our research technology. One of the first TMP projects we did was to uh, help us create a, a database of all of the different diseases that we could target with our technology. And so we wanted to prioritize those different diseases. So a monogenic disease where a single gene is responsible for creating the disease was a priority and that would carry a greater weight. Um, uh, or understanding uh, how much we knew about a particular disease's outcomes and um, ability to do clinical trials. So uh, this database really looked at you know, hundreds to thousands of potential applications and really helped us prioritize what we should be looking at and what it was probably infeasible at this time to look at as a development project. We've benefited from these team master's projects in a number of ways. First of all, we've gotten valuable information. The quality of the work that was done with the teams that were involved in the Sarepta projects was just stellar. They really took it full force. They wanted to learn as much as they possibly could. They did as much research as I would expect one of our employees to do. Uh, uh, and they really wanted to make sure that it was an optimal, high quality uh, output. Uh, of course, you know, many of them want to transition into industry jobs. Uh, they want to see what it's like to actually translate that research background that they may have into more of a business setting. And so this was their opportunity to present to us as a company with their findings. And so, uh, you know, it was almost a, uh, a really high profile project for many of them. So I, I think from that standpoint, we were very impressed with the quality of the work. Uh, it was work that we still to this day uh, refer to and access and that's where we think the sustainability of that project really holds value not just at the moment that it's presented but we picked the type of projects that we knew could have value uh, longer term. The reason we wanted to use the TMP project for the, the projects that we ended up moving forward with and not a consulting house is that uh, we, we knew that the, the students already had an aptitude and an understanding of rare disease. Uh, they had an incredibly uh, uh, high proficiency of understanding the genetic technologies. Uh, many of them have, you know, had taken it on their own to learn even more about the industry and who was working in the space. Um, and so, you know, that's something that you don't always have going to a consultant organization. They don't uh, often specialize in that level of expertise. Um, and so that was one reason. Number two, uh, we like the idea of uh, the diversity of opinions that would come together and being able to you know, work with their you know, uh, peers, uh, uh, students, uh, and, and to, to bounce ideas and thoughts off of. The, the cost of it and what you get out of it really is well worth it. It's one of the most efficient spends that we have. We've been very impressed with the TMP projects and I hope to sponsor future TMPs. Uh, I can see it being part of our, our regular process to consider that as an option for if we have the appropriate project uh, for you know, the, the Keck graduate students that we would want to continue to do these TMPs uh, into the future. I just think that the quality of students at Keck has just uh, continued to impress and I almost don't want to uh, share too much about it and spread the word uh, because uh, uh, we really think it's a little bit of a gold mine here.